Peace family, this is Jolivet. We're at the Museum of London, and um, this is a list that has, first of all, the name of the ship, the tons of the ship, how much it weighed, the name of the captain. See a Captain Anderson right there? It always throws me when I see my last name on things. The principal owner of the ship, John McNabb. McNabb sounds familiar, almost like it's something to do with Mississippi for some reason. And the cleared port of London on that particular date in 1790. The next is embarked enslaved Africans. So it tells you the place where they loaded the Africans on to the ships. And then it tells you the number of enslaved Africans that were on the ship and then the destination of the ship. So if we go across just from the top line, we have the name of the ship. The first line is Maria. It weighed 146 tons. The captain of the ship was Captain Anderson and the principal owner of the ship was John McNabb. And it cleared the port of London, so it came through London on the 29th of June, 1790. It embarked enslaved Africans, meaning it loaded Africans from Gambra, and they don't know how many Africans were actually loaded onto the ship. The destination of that particular ship on that particular day was the island of Jamaica. Here's another one that says, name of ship was John. The ton of the ship was 120 tons. The captain was named Geo Halliburton. Uh, Halliburton. And the principal owner is William Callow. It cleared the port of London. It came through London on the March 3rd, 1794. And it embarked enslaved Africans from Cape Coast Castle. That is the castle that Naja and I visited when we were in Ghana back in 2014. We were down in the hull of that castle, well, in, in, in the bows of that castle when we were there. Also the castle at Elmina, we went to both of them. The number of enslaved Africans loaded, not known. The destination of that ship on that particular day, the island of Jamaica. And. I'm backing up to show you this list of how many ships they have listed here from top to bottom and I've just shared with you just a few. London Sugar and Slavery Exhibit, Museum of London, Docklands, London, England. Peace.